Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about centrifugation. So let's start. Centrifugation is the process of using centrifugal force to separate the lighter portion of the solution, mixture or suspension from the heavier portion. And centrifuge is the device by which centrifugation is effected. Basically, it is designed to accelerate the sedimentation process by using centrifugal force. So, what is centrifugal force? Have you seen an athlete throwing the ball like you see in this picture? Or discus throwing like in this picture? They are using centrifugal force to throw it to the maximum. A force arising from body's inertia which to act on a body moving in a circular path and is directed away from the center. So the working of a centrifuge is based on the principle of centrifugal force which act on a substance in a circular motion towards the periphery. A better expression of forces generated by centrifuge is RCF that is relative centrifugal force which is calculated by considering the speed of rotation that is RPM and the radius from the center of the rotation. RCF is expressed as a number of times gravity means some number into G. And the formula for calculation is RCF is equals to radius into RPM square into 118 into 10 raised to minus 7. Now we will see types of centrifuge. They are mainly of three types. First is vertical or axial centrifuge. Second swinging bucket centrifuge and fixed angle centrifuge. In vertical centrifuge, tubes are placed vertically. Particles move short distance, here you can see. Time of separation is shorter, but the main disadvantage is pellet may fall back into the solution at the end of centrifugation. In swinging bucket, the tubes are in a vertical position when the centrifuge is at rest and assume a horizontal position when the centrifuge is operating. Longer distance of travel may allow better separation. So it is mainly used for density gradient centrifugation. The speed of more than 5000 rpm is not practical in this type of centrifuge. In a fixed angle type, tubes are positioned rigidly at a fixed angle of 25 to 40 degree of vertical axis. Here also shorter distance travel by particles, so the shorter run time. So it is widely used centrifuge. Due to the very low friction of air, this type of centrifuge can attain much higher speed up to the 1 lakh rpm. And here are the working models of each type, vertical centrifuge, swinging bucket centrifuge and fixed angle centrifuge. Now we will see general uses of centrifuge. It is mainly used for separation of serum or plasma from RBCs, then separation of sediment in urine. Next separation of protein free filtrate then washing of rbc's by normal saline and separation of antigen bound fraction or antibody bound fraction in immunoassay now we will see other types of centrifuge first is high speed centrifuge it is useful for research work in medical pharmaceutical, industrial and research industries. Maximum speed can be obtained by it is 20,000 rpm 
and makes RCF 35,000 times of gravity. And here is the working model example of it. Next is high speed cooling centrifuge. This centrifuge in addition to high speed also offers the refrigeration in the main cabinet. And here is the working model example. And last is ultra centrifuge. It is a very high speed centrifuge with the RCF of 1,50,000 times of gravity. It is specially used for special type of separations such as fractionation of lipoproteins and serum proteins. And here is the working model example. Now we will see care and maintenance of centrifuge. Place the centrifuge on a firm base, but mind well it should not be placed near a sensitive equipment such as photometer or photospectrometer because it generates electrical noise and high current drain when it is started up. The cups or tubes of the centrifuge should be balanced properly. The load must be balanced both by equal mass and by center of gravity across the rotation. Do not run the centrifuge with buckets or tubes missing from the unit. The chamber should be kept clean. All the spills should be cleaned immediately since it may contain biohazardous materials. Make sure that the cover is closed while it is operating and never open the chamber until the rotor has come to a complete stop. Now we will see function verification. First is RPM calibration. The speed of centrifugation should be checked by using an external device named tachometer. Values obtained with the external device should be agree within 5% of those from built-in tachometer. Second is timer. The timing intervals should be checked by using stopwatch. And third one is temperature. In case of refrigerated centrifuge, the temperature of the chamber should be checked against a certified thermometer. These all functions should be verified after every 6 months according to the NABL guidelines. Now we will do centrifugation of blood. Place the anticoagulated blood tubes in the centrifuge. Follow the work desk instruction for the centrifuge properly according to the model. Balance the tubes and centrifuge it at 1500 rpm for 10 minutes. Here you can see the plasma fraction that is least dense and at the top layer. The middle buffy coat contains the majority of platelets and WBCs and the lowermost part contains the RBCs. So that is all about the centrifugation. If you find this video informative then please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.